What is up my little legends and welcome to Grimshire. This is a farming simulator game that looks absolutely adorable with a bit of a horrifying twist to it. We have to try to keep all of the residents alive and there's an impending plague on the way. So I think without further ado, we're gonna play and see what this game is all about. Woo, we gotta create our character. <gasps> it can be more species coming soon. Oh, I can still choose a rabbit or a fox. This game looks utterly adorable, by the way. I think uh, we'll be Yenny, classic. And I think I wanna be a fox. Uh, we'll keep she, her. I only can wear pants. <laughs> that is okay. We can choose our fur color though, hey? Or I could be like an Arctic fox. Could also be a little pink fox. That'd be kind of cute too. A yellow fox. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to make. A red fox could be actually kind of cute too, though. Kind of a little bit more on the, like, burnt orange side. That looks pretty darn cute. I think that's good. That's pretty darn good. Okay, a little red fox. That is absolutely adorable. Ooh, that was looking a little vomity. <laughs> okay, there we go. Like a mustard shirt. And then with the pants. You know, we can keep, we can keep blue pants. I kind of like it. That, this looks like something... I would wear, because I'm wearing it now. <laughs> and you know what, my pants are gray, because I'm wearing jogging pants. <laughs> you know, you don't see my bottoms, you don't know what I'm wearing. All right, I, I like it, I think I'm gonna confirm. So yeah, this game looks really adorable. Uh, like I said, it has like a bit of a twist where there's a plague or something coming. So that sounds really fun, but I thought it'd be fun to play something a little bit more cozy. So I'm really looking forward to this. Stardew Valley, of course, is a really like lovable game. The biggest in the genre at this time, really. Harvest Moon though, is always gonna be my one true love. Finn, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Ooh, it's like a little, uh, like a stoat. So cute, Dudley. Finn, quickly get the healer. What's going on? I have two injured people on board. Lend me a paw and help me carry him out. Oh, what an interesting way to start. It's not like a, your grandpa left you a farm. <laughs> what? What's going on, Finn? You woke up the whole village with that blasted foghorn. Who are these people? Oh, there's me. And then there's a little goaty. Oh, they don't look so good. Mayor Theo, I barely escaped from the capital. A huge fire broke out. I was asleep in my cabin and awoke to howling and screaming. Scary. These two were the only ones I could save before the flames overtook the docks and I was forced to set sail. Hmm. That's terrible. What happened? Is the capital under attack? No, I... I don't know what's going on at the capital. I could hardly see or smell anything through the smoke. Out of the way! Oh, who's Hazel? My cats are... My cats are zooming! I <laughs> didn't see her a little bit. <laughs> Out of the way. <laughs> this goat woman is seriously injured. Carry her to my house and be gentle. Her wounds are deep. The goat's super injured. The fox looks okay, but let's bring her inside. Out of the rain. Mayor Theo. Finn. What happened? Oh my gosh. That's... I wonder what did happen. So it says, yeah, there's a plague. But it doesn't say what type of plague is going on or anything. Oh, you're awake. And that goat has some scratchy scratches on the face. Maybe it's like, not like a bubonic plague type of thing, but like a, like a Zootopia thing going on. <laughs> Where people are turning like, you know, vicious. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. They have a little heart beside their name. I wonder if they're like romanceable. <gasps> is there romance in this game? Take it easy. You're safe now. What is your name? Nice to meet you, Yenny. I'm Hazel, the healer. You're inside my home in the village of Grimshire. We're a small village isolated by the water and mountains. A traveling merchant named Finn brought you here on his boat from the capital. Can you tell me anything about what happened in the capital? Do you know the goat lady in the bed there? She's badly injured. Mm, nothing? Was she attacked by an animal? She's covered in bite marks and scratches. Zombies! <gasps> anything at all? Are you going to turn into a zombie goat? It's okay. We'll keep a close eye on her. Hello, Hazel. I like her. Like, this aesthetic is so stinking cute. Yes, Percy. I just came to check in on our guests. Oh, hello there. You seem to be doing better. Nice to meet you. I'm Percy, the mayor's assistant. Speaking of, the mayor's eager to meet you, but he is currently asleep. Hazel, how is your other patient doing? Not good. She's lost a lot of blood from her injuries. I should get back to treating her. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't let me keep you, Hazel. We were all shocked to hear about what happened. From what Finn described last night, the capital is not safe to return to. Sorry, I keep clicking. And then you miss... <laughs> you discuss what to do with you and the goat lady. Finn shipped off this morning to try to find out what happened. Finn was the stoat, right? You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. Grimshire is a small community. We work together and support each other. There's an old abandoned farm on the western edge of the village that you're welcome to stay in. Classic! Follow me. I'll show you the way there. Woo! So that's how we get the farm. That's fun. So I guess because it's like we, we can't really return home. I'm assuming the capital was our home. Maybe. Unless we went there as patient zero. <laughs> We're just going from place to place causing carnage. That would be an interesting twist, actually. Hmm. That door over there leads to the village root cellar. We stockpile, stockpile food in there for emergencies and to survive the winter. The villagers can die. I read on the Steam page. And we have to keep everyone fed. Interesting. Here is a general store. It's run by a lovely stoat family, the Hawthorns. Finn, the stoat that brought you here, is also a Hawthorn. This way to the old farm. Yeah, so we seen Finn, so they run the general store. Mm, cute. Just like, <laughs> Pierre. <laughs> oh, Pierre. He annoyed me so bad in Stardew Valley. I feel like he's like generally <laughs> hated. <laughs> but maybe there's some Pierre lovers out there. I don't know. This is it. Isn't it great? A nice home in the countryside. There's like the moss growing all over the house is so stinking cute. Isn't it great? A nice home in the countryside. This old farmhouse has been abandoned for a long time. There are some things in the chest inside to help you get started. Nice. Feel free to start clearing out the land and starting a farm. We mostly rely on trade for food around here, so everyone in town will be eager to purchase any extra food you don't need. Right on. New quest started meet and greet. Oh, right. You should introduce yourself to everyone once you get a chance. They already heard the news that you'll be staying here. Everyone was also talking about preparing gifts to help you get settled in. I'm going to go get gifty gifts. Well, I got a lot of work to do before Theo wakes up. Bye for now. Ooh, I'm excited for some nice coziness going on. <gasps> I left my coffee somewhere. One sec. Emergency. There. All is well. I got my coffee. I got the no mug or the on, <laughs> as it might say to you. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, get yourself a drinky drink. Get yourself a snacky snack. And um, let's play some cozy games. My lights just flickered. It is raining outside. <laughs> so we've got our inventory, the calendar. So we've got some people's birthdays here. We've got, what does the blue rose mean? Do you think that means they're romanceable? That would be cute. I'm assuming that that must be what it means. I don't know what the question marks and the exclamation marks mean but oh cool we can actually toggle over the different locations so here we are there's our little farm here okay and then i'm assuming this is kind of the general town here oh you can actually see where different people are at <gasps> well that's handy what a fun feature no one's like off in the swamp area down there <laughs> oh there is someone actually over there kai Oh, he's got one little ear. Okay, cute, cute. Meet and greet. I should introduce myself to everyone in the village. Yeah, we'll go do that soon. So this game is like a demo right now. So obviously, yeah, there's no skills. Critters, I don't know. Oh, okay, different plants. Critters, cooking, crafting. <gasps> Cobblestone paths, lantern. That's awesome. Ores, so it looks like we can go, we can go mining and stuff. Classic, classic, classic. Here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I won't uh, bore you with the tutorial. I'll go through it personally on my own. Control. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we, ha we have our little inventory here. It looks like we do have some radishes ready. I want to get the farm on the go. It's already 6.30 this morning, so I'll get the farm kind of on the go here. I Did I get radish seeds? Is that what that said? I did. I'm getting seeds from these too. Well, that's handy dandy. Oh, I'm getting weeds as well. Oh, it looks like I'm like picking away the weeds. Oh, weeds probably can really damage our stuff then, I suppose. I'll clear the weeds around. Uh, the pathway. Oh, hello, kitty kitty. The pathway there is a little disheveled as well, but I might not commit to keeping the pathway there, so I won't fill it in. Same with the fence, because obviously we're probably going to end up expanding a little bit soon. I will get my hoe because there's some, some spaces here that, that need to be filled in. 
I don't know why I'm like, oh, you hit shift to run. I was like, my character's like booking it around everywhere. <laughs> so there's a bunch of dead stuff, hey? Uh, let's clear this farm away because these oats are dead anyways. This corn is dead. Let's start the farm in this little corner here. We should probably finish clearing the, the field, but I don't want to expend all of my energy just cleaning, you know? Chamomile's dead. Radish is ready in three days. Radish ready in two days. I'm assuming the weeds are gonna break my stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cute and charming. I'm just waiting for the utter horror to happen. The, um, oh my gosh, dramatic bird. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so the weeds can actually damage our stuff. So that's really good to know. I'll um, plant these. I have a chest inside, it said, for stuff. But let's, um, let's open this. Is my watering can not full? Oh, there we go. I was so, I was wondering. I was like, uh. <laughs> well, want to definitely get some better equipment soon. It was almost a, oh gosh. Oh wait, what? I was like, it wasn't watering that one. There we go. I'm excited to meet the other characters in this game. I just realized I need to water these ones. There. Well then, I think I do want to clear the farm a little bit better because I don't want these creating chaos to the other plot or other um, little <laughs> other little ones. Oh my gosh, I uh, accidentally have my volume really loud. One sec. There we go. That's better. I oh oh I think I just accidentally broke one that I wasn't supposed to. That's okay. Why is it kind of greenish there? Do you think they can they go bad? Is that what is going on? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want the stuff to possibly spread. Because, yeah, like, there's a plague going around. So I don't know if that's, like, affecting the food or anything, too. There, we cleared out the little farm. I'm going to go see what's in the chest here. Obviously, we'll go and uh, we'll meet our little village people as well. But <gasps> so we can create food. I can, I can make some... Well, I may as well cook one of you. No? Like that? Cook? <laughs> are you not a root? Is a rat? Oh, radishes aren't roots. Wait, yeah, they are. <laughs> it says they are. <laughs> Choose a vegetable. You're not a vegetable. You're a root. I see. Well, we have a baked potato. I want to open you. Asparagus seeds. Plant them in the summer or spring to summer. Spring to summer for cabbage. We have some jerky. A water pump. Distributes. Pump water from the ground and distributes through connected pipes. Uh, is that to create like sprinklers? A fence? I don't know what that means. Let's, uh, let's go test it out. If I put it down though, is it gonna like, ready? I can't put it there. What do you think? Do you think I have to like connect it to the water? Maybe I won't mess actually with this yet. I'll, I'll try to see maybe if someone <laughs> in town can tell me what that's for. We'll get rid of those then for now. And I'm assuming this is our bed, hey? What would you like to do? Never mind. And then yeah, we have our cooking. Okay, let's, um, let's go into the village. I'm assuming we can like harvest trees and rocks and stuff as well, hey? I don't believe though I have, no, I don't have anything. I only have the hoe, scythe and watering can. Oh, there is a way up here, though. What is this? The forest. Old farm. It's us. I suppose like we could go to the old forest. That leads us up there. There might be someone up there. We could go to town, though, as well. We should probably maybe go to town first. And I imagine that's where the majority of the people are. All right. Goodbye, farm. What is this? Grimshire's this way. And then the old farm. That's where we are. So, okay. Here we go. So, oh, this is... um. Your guys' place. You sell some seeds. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, we could buy carrots. Oh, you have like $9 billion. Holy moly. I don't have any money, so I actually can't buy anything. But I'll introduce myself. Hiya, nice to see you again. You're looking better now. My name is Dudley. Dudley, I thought you were Finn. I run the general store with my family. Stop by if you need something. So we got you. I need to... There we go. Oh, hi, I'm Poppy. Sorry, Poppy, I'm standing on you. 
<laughs> Where did you come from? Are you staying here now? What's your name? Do you have a family? What's your favorite color? Do you like the Beatles? <laughs> She's got a little circle beside her name, so I'm assuming you're a child. Logan is so silly and his uh, Alfie are the cutest. Have you pet them? They're so fluffy. A bunny! Logan is so silly. All right, hello. It's nice to meet you, Beatrix. So the circle is non-romanceable and the heart, I'm guessing, is romanceable. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm Beatrix. I heard about what happened in the capital. Will you be staying here? Grimshire has been my home for a long time. I think you'll love it here. By the way, I have a special request, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Come speak to me again when you have time. I have time. Hello, Yenny. Can I ask you to do me a favor? I want to surprise Dudley and make his favorite carrot cake. I don't have carrots. Do I? No. I hope it's not too much trouble. I know you just got here and I barely had time to settle in. Will you please bring me 10 carrots? There should be enough seeds. Oh, sick, you gave me carrot seeds. I was like, I can't. Ooh, ooh, people are coming and going. A new person in the village. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Jack. Nice to meet you. Have you come to meet my best friend, Poppy? She's the coolest. Well, we met the other child of the city. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. There was a person in here. Well, an animal, I suppose. Where did they go? They left. Ooh, I want a fishing rod. Can I steal that one? Probably not. Oh, hello. Are you an otter? Hello. I was expecting you to be named like Otto the Otter. <laughs> hello, I'm Wilfred. Nice to meet you. I run a humble fishing store on the docks. Visit us whenever you need fishing supplies or a fresh caught tasty treat. Oh, I have a gift for you. This old rod. Yes. <laughs> Has seen better days, but I think there's plenty of life left in it. Come talk to me again if you want to learn more about fishing. Ooh. Do you sell things? <gasps> dry rock oh that's handy dandy and you sell some fishies i don't need the fishies though so we won't do that there's fishies yeah I'll definitely of course i'll do some fishing but not right now because we don't need to it's just a fish i did not mean to hit that <laughs> <laughs> oh who are you hello oh i seen you percy how are you doing I have recovered, have you recovered fully? Don't overwork yourself. You look like you're romanceable. Have you met everyone in the village yet? They're all excited to meet you. Yeah, Percy, that's right. Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's Beryl? Hello, I'm Beryl. I work at the, and you're not a bear? Are you a bear? <laughs> With my parents. Speaking of, my dad was preparing something for you. Have you talked to him yet? Oh, I have not, Beryl. Greetings. I am Adeline Sablewood. I am the caretaker of Baron Reynard's Silverwood Estates. In my free time, I like to collect and study anything I can get my paws on. Let me know if you find anything interesting. I can pay you well for it. Oh, right. I have something for you. Here. I hope you like it. Wallpaper! <laughs> nice. What's this? She, she just, I had to give her a different voice. It seemed like she, you know, she was intense. This place is just creepy empty. What is this place? <laughs> I don't like it. It's creeping me out. Have we met you? Ah, yes. I've been waiting for you. Theo! Theo is not romanceable. What happened at the capital? Finn said he was asleep in his boat when he heard yelling and howling. And then the smoke from the fire prevented him from seeing or smelling anything. You're lucky to have made it out alive. Oh, you should meet everyone in the village. We don't get new residents often. I'm doing that. Everyone is excited to meet you. Before I forget, I know you arrived here with nothing. Here are some coins to help you get started. 100 bucks. I wanted to buy the drying rack, but it's expensive. Oh, who are you? Logan Romance. Good morning. Good morning, my new friend. I am Logan Grayson, wordsmith and critter grooming extraordinaire. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right. Isn't Adeline's library stupendous? The number of plays and stories it contains is innumerable. It is a shame I have but one life to devote them. <laughs> Hello, I'm Oliver. Nice to meet you. Why do you make Oliver British? <laughs> I help my uncle Dudley with the general store here. All right, sorry. It's canon. Oliver is British. Poppy treats me like an old brother. She's very sweet. How kind she is to me. All right. What's this, Poppy? Taro! Taro! You're Lynx. I love that. Hey, my friend. My name's Taro. I live in the marsh with my brother Kai. You live in the marsh? Creepy. Kai. It was nice to meet you. You should come over and hang out with me sometime. Hmm. Sometimes the words are creepy. <laughs> wow, we still... Taro wants to chat 
Uh, uh, no, wait, does that just mean that we've talked to them? Greeted today. Quest available. <gasps> oh, Beatrix. Quest in progress. I see. I see, I see. Why are you creeping behind the tree? <laughs> who's, oh my god, who is that? What is that? Are you a, a wolfie? My name is Rufus. I'm the local shepherd. My son and I produce finest wool in the province. You're so ironic because you're a wolf. We also sell ranch supplies if you're interested in raising some critters yourself. Well, welcome to the village. You'll be safe here. Watch out for each other. Nice. That's so wholesome. I want to go to your little land there and see your critters. You know? Do you have a quest for me? Need ranch supplies? We have everything you need. Just place your order in the shop catalog at the table there. That's awesome. What an amazing feature. <laughs> you don't have to kibble. You don't have to talk to them to buy stuff, and I love that. Butcher station. Useful for processing critters into more usable parts. We can... <laughs> We can butcher our animals. <gasps> You're so stinking cute. You're like an alpaca. Oh, I love it. I love it. This game is so wholesome and cute. We have not met Erica yet. So we could go on up here. I almost wish like it... Well, no. If There's so many villagers. If it showed their faces on the map, it could be a little confusing. Prudence is like way up in the mountains, hey? It's already 4.45, and I do have some some stuff to do. I was appointed as mayor, yeah. We've already talked to you. Oh, here we go. Rabbit. Hello, I could have been you. Wallace. Hello, the name's Wallace. My family and I run this small furniture store. Oh, <gasps> furniture. This is so fun and cozy. Business is slow here, but everyone in the village is so nice, and it's a great place to raise a family. Where are you running to? Here, a welcome present for you. My wife and I built it. Oh my gosh, in this economy, you're giving me a table? Dang, tables are like thousands of bucks. <laughs> I still don't own a kitchen table in real life. <laughs> I heard you'll be taking over the old farmhouse. The place has been abandoned for a long time now. It'll be nice to see it being put to use. Okay, thank you for the table. <laughs> I've already been up here. What is this? Oh, this is the storeroom. Looks like we do have some food. So that's good. But I, I suppose, like, how do I drop food in here? Oh. Okay, good. Days of food in stock. Five days. And five. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> days of food in stock. I mean, I gave you guys a potato. You don't want the potato? <laughs> they can have potato. <laughs> I did my part. All right, well, it's five o'clock at night, hey? Is there like a local bar that everyone likes to hang out in? This is a cute little house. No, it's six o'clock. I guess I could check my map and see like if the general area, if the, everyone's in the general area. No. No, it doesn't look like everyone is. There's like some people up in there. This is a, I'm, con I'm a bit confused by the map obviously, but I just like don't really know it very well, so. Mm. Oh, I see. This is her house. Like, I don't even... Ah, uh, come back. I want to talk to you. Hello, I'm Greta. I'm in the village fisher. Ooh, you're a fisher. I heard you'll be staying in the village. Sorry, but what happened to your home? <laughs> All right, I have a welcome gift for you. Here you go, hun. It's a drying rack. Ooh, oh, the drying rack. I wanted you. Set this outside in the sun to dry and preserve things like fish. It's a good idea to preserve your food to prevent it from spoiling. This is so stinking cute. My coffee's getting cold already. I need to talk to you. Come back. Come back. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Hi, I'm Rose. I work as Harpless Assistant. Are you feeling better? Stop by Hazel's house if you're feeling unwell and fix you up. Here's Hazel. I mean, have I technically met you? You're looking a lot better. I have a practical gift for you. It's a compost bin. Thank you. Fill it up with organic matter to make compost, which will improve your soil health. It's a great way to turn rotten, spoiled food into something useful. Plants grow... Oh gosh, time is going... Zoom in. Plants grow in a healthy soil, return the favor, and reward you with more tasty food. That's nice. Thank you. Hmm. Everyone left. I really hope this doesn't turn evil, because I'm getting like... <laughs> Happy tree for Oh, there is a bar. Happy tree friends. Did that ever scar you as a child or did you have a normal childhood? Because <laughs> happy tree friends like actually wrecked me. Okay, why can't I? It's like, 
<laughs> there we go. Well met, I'm Gruff, the blacksmith. Welcome to Grimshire, friend. We're a small community, but we look out for each other. Here, have something useful for you. Oh, a pickaxe. That pickaxe isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, but it'll get the daub done. Daub? <laughs> Come talk to me again once you've settled in. I have a favor to ask. Oh, I'll take your quest. Hey, friend, about that favor. Can you get me five copper ore? Ah, I clicked too fast. Have you been to the mine yet? The entrance is to the left of my house. I don't know where your house is. You can break the walls in the mine with a pickaxe. Look for veins of ore in the walls and dig them out. Keep an eye on your stamina. And if your night vision isn't as good as mine, you can play some lanterns. Do fox have night vision? <laughs> Dungeon master, I have night vision. <laughs> That's like a classic thing to say. Is it called? It's not night vision. What's it called? <laughs> I don't know. Dark sense? What's it called? The deeper you go, what kind of a D&D &D person am I? New quest. Perfect. Oh, hi. I'm Lila. Nice to meet you. Lila, we met your sibling, right? No, no. You live at the tavern. Tavern. Who was the person's sibling? Uh, the place gets pretty lively at night. It's the most popular spot in the village. I see... Stop by the tavern and try my dad's beer. He claims it's the best, but I'm pretty sure Gruff has him beat. Oh. Shoot. Well, that person left. It's okay. Are you Theo? Get out of here, Theo. I've already talked to you. Hello, lady's dad. Hello, name's Rusty. I'm the owner of the barkeep. Owner and the barkeep of the Rusty Bucket. Stop by for a drink sometime. We have a few seasonal brews to choose from. Perfect. I can't go into your... That one room. Looks like I can go into everyone's rooms. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to meet more people, but they uh, left. Oh, I haven't met you yet, have I? No, yeah, I have. It's the data lines library. Stupendous. The number of plays and stories it contains is innumerable. It's a shame. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> okay, who are you? Ah, yes, there you are. Oh, Adeline. Ah, uh, yes, there you are. Can I ask you to assist me in my research of the local fauna and flora? I will compensate you for your hard work. Collect any plant, fish, mine, ore, and minerals that you find here in Grimshire. Donate them in the box inside the entryway of my home. After you've donated a few specimens, come see me about your payment. All right, sure. What is this? Oh... Oh, so you're the, you're like the museum, your museum lady. Mm. It's 10 at night. I should probably head home. <laughs> I haven't met everyone and I'm sure we still have some gifty gifts to get, but I feel like everyone's probably going to be in bed now. How do I get home? I need to go down. At least uh, the map is pretty helpful in that sense. <laughs> it's so dark. Can stuff like attack us? I didn't really necessarily want to... Like, quit for the night. I need to still plant some stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, it's uneven. <laughs> I have more seeds, though. Don't I? One, two, three, four, five. I should have more seeds. There they are. One, two. Hmm. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. I was like getting a little worried. I was like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna look ugly. I love that it tells you how many plot, uh, water you have left. Like one, so now I need a couple more. What? I'm trying. Oh, I, wait, no, I'm trying. There we go. <laughs> I was like, help. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Didn't water anything. There. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh, it's 11.35. Maybe I should go to sleep. I'm assuming eventually I'll get a little bit more of a tutorial. Hey, I can apply to the inside of your home. I want to do that. What would you like to do? Nothing. I want to put this somewhere. Oh, that's kind of cute, I guess. Sure. We'll do that for now. The jerky, hey? Never spoils. Well, that's handy. I will put that down. Compost bin. Okay, this is fine. We'll put our kitchen table here. Oh, you can pick up furniture with an axe, pickaxe, or a hoe. <gasps> I can change the color of some furniture? <gasps> you can change the decor objects on top of some furniture as well. Ooh, that's going to be dope. How do I do that? See to change. Oh, I died. 
Um. <laughs> okay, Grimshire Valley Daily. Spring two. We have some. We have a new resident moving into the old abandoned farm. Let's all give them a warm welcome, Percy. <laughs> Root cellar to port. Four days of stock left. Four days of food. 100% villagers fed. I don't know how to feed people, and it's freaking me out. What's going on? Is someone getting executed? Like, what is happening? Morning. The goat woman passed away last night. No! <laughs> Hazel and Rose did their best to save her, but she succumbed to her injuries. Priest Edgar is holding a funeral for her in the mountaintop. Mayor Theo will also be speaking afterwards. I'll show you the way. Follow me. My god, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, this took an unexpected twist. How sad. How dark is this game? It's gonna be, I mean, it might be pretty dark. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna play a cozy game, plays a horrifically sad one. Are we burning them on a pyre? That is epic. Edgar, greetings. Oh, this is, I can just meet everyone here, perfect. <laughs> greetings, I'm aware that you did not personally know her, but you still have my condolences. To lose your home suddenly, and to lose your last connection as well. It must be difficult. If you ever need someone to listen to your worries, feel free to visit me. You're not romanceable, hey? Lame. Percy, thank you for escorting her here. Oh, hey, you were at the bar, and I couldn't talk to you. Everyone, please gather around. It's time. Today is a sad day. We are gathered here to send up the essence of a stranger, someone whose name we do not even know, whose arrival at our village brought troubling news. But let us not dwell upon that right away and instead focus our thoughts on this individual. Although we do not know her, we know of daughters, sisters, mother, and friends. Focus your thoughts on individuals in your life that bring you joy and comfort. Now take those emotions and express them to her. Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> Let her feel love in your soul. Let her go forth with the comfort of a village. Why is this emotional all of a sudden? Uh, may we all pass, surrounded by those who love and care for us as she does now. Let her soul pass into nature and her ashes nourish the end of for the benefit of the living. So that the world will just be a little better. Oh, my heart, my soul, what the heck? That's heartbreaking. What a good speech. Now, Mayor Theo would like to speak. <laughs> I wish there was voice acting because then I could sit here and just drink my coffee. Thank you, Edgar. It was a lovely service. I'm sure the whole village has heard the harrowing news, but let me clarify the situation. According to our friend Finn, oh yeah, Finn, he went off. Finn, several days ago, the capital was engulfed in flames and violence. Violence, hey? So it is like a zombie play going on. I don't know if that's what's going on. Unfortunately, Finn did not have, to have time to investigate as the docks were burned down shortly after he rescued two people. We do not know the extent of the damage, but it is troubling news. Finn disembarked our port the same night. He arrived in hopes of discovering more information. We'll hopefully know more when he returns. Oh, he hasn't returned yet. In the meantime, let us be there for each other and think of ways to protect and strengthen the village. That is all. Oh, so every time a villager dies, we're going to have to have a sad funeral. It's heartbreaking. I hope everyone's here still and I can meet them all. <laughs> no! <laughs> they all left. This is so sad. You abandoned me here all by myself. Whoever this was who brought me here. Uh, there's some fishies. I mean, I could definitely do some fishing because then we can get some meat going on the drying rack because now I'm all anxious. Like, oh, I'm very anxious. I want to make sure that I don't get any of the villagers killed. I just want to see if there's anyone in the mountains. No, it doesn't look like it. I thought someone lived in the mountains. I don't know. Oh, well, it's fine. No one's here. The mine... Grimshire Mountain is up here and Grimshire's down. This is so stinking cute. I love this. It's very, very cute. Like, where's the the mines? There's like a hole up here, but I don't know. The mine oh mine's over here. Oh I see. Okay. Okay, okay. I got you. Forest and mountain. Well, we'll go down into the forest. I think there's still definitely some people for us to meet. 
There's this house here. So this is uh, the blacksmith's house. Are you here? Okay. He is. I used to live in the city as well. I wonder if my friends are all right. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> he needs copper ore. Like, I'm assuming we might not have a... Do we have a... Um, I don't think we've got... I need carrots for you. I need 10 for you. Holy moly. And five ore. Like, I know... Some are kind of time-ish limited because obviously like carrots are probably only a spring, possibly summer thing, but I'm not sure. Spoils in eight days, hey? Oh, I see. Jerky is probably the best, but if like, does that mean that, um, will be tricks quest and prod, uh, and yeah. Does that mean though that, oh, you have a quest for me that um like different like herbivores and omnivores and carnivores like do they <laughs> i'm trying to remember all of them <laughs> the mine is prone to collapsing if you do destroy too many walls is there something behind here <laughs> no um do they all have to eat different things all the different types of critters you know someone else's home is down here Someone does live in the marsh. Mushroom. Whose house is this? The woodsmith? Oh, hello. Rowan. Hey, how cool. Another fox is moving in. Welcome, friend. Yeah! Fox. Woohoo! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Rowan, the local carpenter. I heard you'll be moving into the old, old farmhouse. If you need your house repaired or an upgrade, then talk to me. Before I forget, here, a welcome gift. Thanks, buddy. An axe! Woohoo! The old axe isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't have to cut all the trees around here, but it should let you collect some firewood. I got a job for you. If you're interested, come speak to me again. I am interested. Hey, Yenny. I've been super busy with a few carpeting projects. Can you gather some logs for me? Use that old axe I gave you to cut down a few trees. Keep in mind that some trees are too tough for that blunt axe to cut down. All right, Rowan wants some lumber. No one else is in here, hey? Oops, sorry, Rowan, destroying your beautiful painting. <laughs> I did not mean to. <laughs> it's down here. Someone lives in the marsh. Ooh. Ooh, more forageables. Really nice. Morals. Morale. <gasps> What's this? Taming. To tame a wild critter, first you'll need to have built a coop or a barn in your farm. Next, you'll need to find one in the forest, mountain, or marsh. Each critter variety has their own favorite food items. Feed it to them to tame them. You like carrots or radishes, hey? Not that I can... Not that I can. The critter loves you. I tamed a blue buggy! Oh, do you want to send it to the farm? Yes. Oh! Lame. Lame. You're hungry? You're a baby! Oh my gosh. I want you. <laughs> I want that critter so bad. It's so cute. Oh, I need to go to the marsh and say hello to the one person. Because she said that her brother was down here with her. So they're bound to be in here somewhere. There they are. Hello. Edgar's speech was beautiful. I hope it helped that poor woman's soul. Me too. Who are you? What do you want? Oh. The distant... <laughs> The distant kind of rude guy. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, well, don't disturb the marsh. It's where my brother and I got most of our food. Wait, brother and you? I'm sorry, Taro. <laughs> I did not mean to to call you a woman. <laughs> oh, your guys' house is cute. All right, all right. Where did the wa oh? I was like, where did they go? There was two of them. Don't disturb the marsh, hey? Just <laughs> proceed to disturb the marsh. Hmm. So in here looks like it's like forageables and stuff. The music all of a sudden stopped, so that's kind of concerning. I can break you? Oh, I probably shouldn't have. I feel like you probably were, um... Oh. You probably were trying to grow into a tree, weren't you? And I broke you. Maybe I'll try fishing for a second here. And I'll see. Use your fishing rod, wiggle, reel in. Okay, easy peasy. Oh, what? <laughs> Maybe I don't know how to do this. I don't know why I'm fishing behind the tree. A 
Okay, the fish actually left. So that's not good. Well, we'll fish somewhere else. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped the tutorial. <laughs> I just was like, I just figured it was easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it turns out it was not easy peasy lemon or squeezy. Come here, little guy. You're confused? Really? Really? Why are you confused? Don't. <laughs> Why are you confused? <laughs> Lame. I keep wanting to click here to like grab new stuff. Oh, there's littler fishies anyways, so this works better actually. I like how these don't take up inventory space. There we go. I caught a silver bream. It's breaming. <laughs> it's breaming. Okay, cool. How do I open up my inventory? I'll just hit M for map. I guess that works. Someone wanted fish, didn't they? I need to meet more people still. No, no one wanted fish. I do need to talk to some more people though, of course. I, oh my gosh, I didn't go and water my crops. I got distracted. Oh, and I wasted so much. Oh, there's a person. The Greta, I've already met you. I uh, didn't really get much of my stamina back because I passed out dead on the ground. <laughs> it happens, you know. No, how do I get home? <laughs> how do I get home? <laughs> I think it's up this way and then I have to go the other way and go down. Ooh, a mushroom. I hope we can save everyone. I'm really anxious about that. Is there like a saving function? Save and quit, I see. It probably just like saves each day. So that's kind of classic, you know, classic farming. Oh, I'm in my house now. Well, I'm not in my house, but you know what I meant. I want to build the coop. <laughs> well, we will um, start watering. This one's done, that one's done. Beautiful. Everything is going pretty good. I want to get a better fishing or like better equipment soon. But I imagine I need to get like copper ore and stuff to like get the better equipment. I'm assuming that it's gonna follow suit with that. Mm -hmm. I played Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life on my PS2 so much as a child. Like that game was so fun back in the day. And so it's really fun. Like farming games always kind of have like a special play to, place in my heart that's for sure and it was like stardew valley's always been something that i've been kind of wanting to play for the channel but i played it oh 13 out of 100 oh geez i'm almost out of stamina i played it so much that i'm kind of just like uh, i don't know if i can really make that feel new and fresh you know what i mean <laughs> it's kind of hard <laughs> it makes it a little bit hard okay i feel like i should conserve some of my some of my health here, or stamina. I want to go and talk to more people. I feel like I want to put more like radishes or something in here. Oh, hello. That unfortunate woman, I wish we could have done more for her. Yeah, very, very sad. Can I just like, oh. Spoils in eight days, hey? Never spoils. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we need like a decent amount of fruits and veggies. All um actually I'm gonna I'm gonna cook those radishes instead. I don't think we can really do anything else there. The yeah, oh never mind, I should get my fish back because I can try it. <laughs> well, no, I have my fish still, <laughs> but I'll dry it out. And then maybe I should cook the the food instead. Why are you guys standing in each other? Hmm. It's time like this. We need to prepare for the worst so we can prevent further tragedy. I want to... It's terrible. We didn't even know her name. Yeah, that is really sad. I can't talk to the one otter, but it's okay. Oh. Hi guys, you're over here now too? Sorry, after this morning, I'm not up for talking today. A flicker of light, extinguishing in the night, leaving only darkness. Oh, sorry about that. I was thinking about our departed guest. You are giving me like Elliot vibes. <laughs> I need to meet more people. 
Nor more critters. I need to meet the priest guy. You. I quest in progress. Who? Winfred. He lives at the pier, so I need to get the... I need to get his quest. I forgot to grab it from him. So we'll do that now. I'm sure he'll give me some sort of fishing related one. Hello. I've got a challenge for you. Can you catch a white fish? There's plenty of them in the water around the docks. Stand near them, line up your shot, and cast out. Wiggle your line a bit to get their attention and wait for them to strike. When the bobber goes underwater, pull. It may take a few tries, but believe in yourself. Yes, sir. -y. Nice. I will do this for you. Just for you. <laughs> because there's a fishy here. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. Uh, it's nice. It's an easy silver bream. No, that's not what you wanted. You wanted a white something. Let's see. No! Come back! It might be too big. Hmm. There's plenty of them near the docks. Plenty of them. I don't believe you. Come here! <gasps> they ran away! What a little sneak. There's another one here. Shoot, I messed up. Come back. No! <laughs> okay, maybe this is a little more challenging than I thought. There we go. Okay, I get how to do it now. I caught a scallop. I wonder if there's a pearl inside? I can't, uh... Hmm. Can't do anything with it. I already know you. I want to... If I go to the bar, then I might be able to meet some more people here. Like, I've met you, right? Already? Rusty. Sorry, how can we help you? He's lost in thought. It's valid. Where does that goat guy live? Hello, what are you running in here for? I already know you, right? The, today reminds me of my mother's funeral. I still miss her. <laughs> oh my god, who should we romance? Like, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, this is Adeline's house. Um, there was a few people who did look super adorable. I think, like... Uh, Hazel's dark. She's so stinking cute. Hmm. Kai? You know... <laughs> <laughs> I do like the little sound of Kai. <laughs> hmm. I don't even know. Yeah, I, I guess we'll definitely figure out who we want to romance as time goes on and we meet everyone and know who they are. <laughs> but I need to... Like, I think I've met... I've met all the romanceables now. Uh, I just need to find the last few remaining people. Wherever they are. Wherever indeed. Oh, you look like... Wait, are you guys new? Wallace, yeah. No, this guy though, right? I think you're new. Oh no, wait. You're the wolfie. Mm, I've already met you. No. <laughs> okay, well, at least it's going to be nighttime. So maybe that means then that... Uh, you're Erica? I'm Erica. Oh, you looked like Rose, I think her name was. I'm Erica Hopper. My husband and I run a furniture store here. We have a rotating stock for sale every day. Mayor Theo said you'll be staying for a while, so I got you something. Carpenter's bench. It, set this up where you ever you like to gather some supplies and get crafty. Well, don't be a stranger. Feel free to stop by and say hi every now and then. Very nice, very nice. Jack held on to me so tightly during the funeral. I'm worried that it may have affected him. That's very sad. Oh, Jack. Are we going to die too? Oh, 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 oh my god. I don't. I hope not, buddy. I really hope not. <laughs> this game is this game is playing with my emotions. Don't do this to me, game. Okay, the brothers are speeding their way home. Oh, I've met you already, Lila. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, heartbreaking. I've met everyone here. Hmm. Hi, Greta. I, I would love to wait here, though, and see if anyone else is going to come. Because I know, like, I've seen... 
<gasps> a mouse! I don't know you. Hello, mousy. Oh, and the deer man. Hello, dear. Nice to meet you. I'm Prudence. Stop by my home for fresh baked goods whenever you're hungry. I also sell flower arrangements. Here, have one as a housewarming gift. <gasps> I'm going to set that up in my house. Thank you. A little splash of color to brighten up your new home. Oh, very nice. I seen Lego flowers, and I'm thinking I might actually buy some. There's like an orchid that I want because I can't have real plants in my house because my cats eat them. So I was like, I could build it out of Lego, but then I'm scared my cat's going to try to eat the Lego. <laughs> like, she's a menace. Oh, I scared her. <laughs> I scared her by yelling. I know, I feel bad. Welcome, stranger. I'm Edgar, the preacher at the temple. I was saddened to hear about what happened at the capital. There is our troubling times. Don't hesitate to tell me if you need anything. Okay, I won't. I feel like tomorrow is major going to be some preparation because I'm very scared of people dying. So I'm missing two people. This could be Finn, cause, but he's not here for a little bit. What's where, Where's my uh, meet and greet? Tw yeah, 25 of 26. So we're just missing this one because Finn's not even in town right now. Mm, critters. Yeah, I want critters, but I can't have the critter. So we're just missing the one, hey? Uh, I think they're probably honestly in their house. Terrible. We didn't even know her name. I know Adeline. Who is it? I just realized I can like look on the side here. Do I know Wilfred? Beryl, Greta, Willow. It could be Willow. It is, it's Willow. Willow, oh gosh, Willow's way on the opposite end of the world. I can cut through my farm. <laughs> oh gosh, put your, your uh, clam away. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> All right, well, I could drop off some stuff too, but I don't, I don't want to risk passing out. So I might just run over to the one person. I forgot what their name is now. How do I get there again? Okay, I can go up. I can go up. And oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck on everything. They should be just out here in the middle of the woods, it said. It's not you, no. Most of my extended family lives in the city. I disliked all, almost all of them anyways, but still, I wonder if they're okay. We could be family, we're both fox. Oh, a critter! I want you. You said you're over here somewhere. Willow, now you're over there. At least they're, they're somewhere. Hello? There you are. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Oh, hello. So you're the new resident. Welcome, I'm Willow. We're blessed with the beauty of nature here. It's very peaceful out in the forest. Before you go, here, let me give you something. <gasps> Fancy stone flooring. I like that. Thank you. I'm going to go home because it's 8.50 at night and I don't want to pass out again. I want to start the day fresh with all of my health. I probably need to get a scarecrow now that I just heard a bunch of crows crowing. I imagine they're probably menaces in in this game. Okay, let's uh, um let's just go into our house. We'll figure out where to like pop stuff down tomorrow. I actually I like the wood better. We'll do that. Fence, hey? Mm, I don't know what to do with the fencing right now. I'm gonna turn the radishes into I can grill the fish, but I feel like drying the fish will make it last longer. We'll do that tomorrow though. What would you like to do? Sleep. Okay, zero days of spoiled food. Four days stocked, four days stocked. A stranger passed away in our village yesterday. Let us not forget her. There's a storm. Nice, very nice. Oh, morning. Why is Theo so angry? Oh, you're sleepy. <laughs> Don't mind him. Mayor Theo isn't a morning person. Anyways, we're here to talk to you about our community root cellar. Yes, I seen the root cellar. It's a lovely cave in the village that keeps naturally cool all year long. We use it to store food for emergencies and stock up food for winter. Mmm, food. Oh, is winter gonna be like pure survival mode? 
Oh, that could be interesting. Mm, food. You know what, Mayor? I second that. I like food. <laughs> We're worried about recent events affecting trade. Grimshire is a small village, and only good farmable land is this area here. So usually we trade for most of our food, but until Finn gets back, we don't know what is happening. Oh no, what if I can't get a hold of imported cheese? <laughs> yes, priorities, Mayor. He is right. We're in uncertain times right now, so we must prepare for whatever happens. As such, we're asking that you make full use of this land to produce food. Am I the sole provider of this whole village then? No one else is going to contribute? That's scary. I know that. <laughs> that is a lot to ask, Percy. <laughs> so, Mayor. Yeah, I kind of, I do like Percy. I do like Percy. So, Mayor, Theo and I have decided to waiver your taxes. Heck yeah! My tax income. Oh my god, Mayor, you're so goofy. <laughs> no more will you have to pay tax on your land, purchases, or even sales. Very nice. Oh, well, I never did because I didn't live here previous. What the heck? <laughs> oh, and don't even worry about keeping track of how much food is in the root cellar. I publish that in my daily newsletter. Yeah. That's the... So Percy's the one writing the newsletter. I do like Percy. You write a newsletter? Since when? <laughs> the last several years. At least the last several days, anyways. Regardless, follow us to the root cellar. We'll give you a tour. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm really enjoying this. Theo, we've got a busy day. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> Standing up. Impressive. Come on, let's leave without him. Is he a raccoon? Our raccoons are nocturnal, aren't they? So that kind of makes sense. So this is the cellar. It's looking a little empty now. Here it is. This is the root cellar. I feel like pickled stuff would last really long. I'm just trying to think survival-wise. What would last forever, right? Jerky. It lasts forever, it says. I'm going to try the fish, but obviously I need some vegetables too. It's for the herbivores. It may not look like much, but we can pack quite a bit of food in here. Use this place. Just put any edible food you have in that chest. I'll then organize the root cellar and record everything. Oh, I love that you're, you know, organizing yourself. The same with like the um, museum area that Adeline is doing. It looks like maybe she'll be the one to organize things. And I just drop it in the box. I like that. I don't know why, but like having to organize the museum was stressful in Stardew Valley because it was hard to like repick stuff up and then when you started running out of space it was like how do you organize things so it looks like aesthetic <laughs> I'll then organize the root stellar stellar cellar and record everything if you're getting low on food I'll post about it in my daily newsletter so don't forget to read it oh I don't please keep in mind that we have both herbivores and carnivores in the village I was wondering that yes the carnivores can eat fish, meat, eggs, milk, or cheese. The herbivores can eat fruit, mushrooms, vegetables, grains, or nuts. So I actually put mushies in there, so that works. One more thing. If you can try to donate preserved foods. Canning, pickling, drying, smoking. Anything you can do to make the food last longer, for sure. Any fresh food stored here will spoil eventually. We won't make it through a real emergency without a good stockpile of preserved food. That's it. I know you'll be a great help to the community. Here are some seeds to help you get started. I know you don't have any livestock yet for meat sources, so I suggest going fishing for now. I do want to get some critters, but now I feel bad at eating the critters. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. I, I missed what seeds we got. Root cellar. That's like the main objective, hey? But like, what's like the end goal here? <laughs> you know? What is the end goal? Oh, Theo, you have a gift for me? Oh no, um, a quest, I mean? What is your quest? Meet and greet. Oh, I could probably go chat with him now. <sighs> what, uh, what is the quest for the root cellar? Stock up at least six days worth of both herbivore and carnivore food in the root cellar. If you need help, there's a root cellar tutorial in the tutorial tab. Perfect. Mm, I need to get more fish. Um, it was, uh, which one did he want? Like, how do I open my inventory? Mm, yeah, I've got a silver bream, and he wants... He wants a... I don't know what it is. A white fish. I see. Well, we'll have to... Ah, we'll go back to the farm here soon. You might not be close enough. Mm, you guys aren't close enough at all. Come here. Okay, this one's over. Oh! 
Mm, this one at least is kind of close. I shouldn't run, maybe. What are you doing? There we go. It's like you're just teasing. Silver Bream. No, I don't want a Silver Bream. I would like the other one. He said there's plenty of them near the dock, right? He's just... Oh gosh, they startled me. <laughs> oh shoot, oh no, I, I got distracted by them. <laughs> Wilford, I can't. I can't get the, the one. I want our daughter to take over the family fish business someday, but I don't know if that's what she wants. I don't know. Barrel, sometimes I stop by Adeline's house to help her with her research. It's fascinating. Uh, okay, Barrel. This Barrel's the daughter, right? Come here. Give me your fish. I feel like... I feel like I want to do this because then I can start drying stuff. You know? Scallops. No, I don't want the river fishies. I want... I want these ones. It might take us a bit to get the fish that he wants. I think we're going to go home for now. I could go and chat with everyone too. But I want to go home for now. Oh, got some radishes ready. Beautiful. And that was it, hey? I did get... I did get some seeds. What are these, though? They're cabbage. Okay. Cabbage is good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Oh, if you were ready, I'd put you there. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> oh, wait, I never mind. I thought I had one left. <laughs> it's good. We could put, like, what do I do with the scallop? So that there could be a pearl inside. You just can eat it. Spoils in eight days. Spoils in two days. Yeah, I need to... I need to get another drying rack. I think. We'll put our... Our drying rack, like, maybe behind the house. We could start, like, a cute little... Kind of, uh, artisan area. A pickaxe. Mm. I was wondering if that was was doable just because the stone was a little bit bigger and then of course it um sam is making a different noise i was i was kind of scared <laughs> i think we're gonna put it i don't know where i thought maybe back here it's so, like we could for the most part like i could do like the farm and stuff down here i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do yet because, like, also, too, this is just the early access demo. Like, I don't know how long of this game I'm going to get to play. I can't put you outside, hey? You're just an indoor plant? Oh, I see. Well, let's put you right there. Beautiful. I can put this inside my house, too. I don't know. Do I want it inside? Yeah, I may as well. Do -do -do -do. What was the stuff, actually, I could make with it? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I do not understand the water pump thing. <laughs> it's okay. We'll figure it out eventually. How do I pick you up? Oh yeah, right. I can do this. So I can put you there, and then let's put the plants back on it. And then we can pick you up and put you here too. There. That looks nice. Unknown. Alright. Well, I should do something with those scallops too. Like, I don't really know what though. Okay. I'm just gonna cook up the scallops because I'm not sure. And then we can use the preserving table. Mm, can't build right up against the house. I think I'll just start it over here for now. Why can't I? Okay, right there. To use the drying rack. Oh, good. It does multiple, multiple fish. You can tell if an item's done outside if the drying rack sprite has changed. Perfect. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. I made grilled fish. That's right. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Mm. Compost bin. Right. 
I guess we can put our compost bin. It's huge! Right there. I hate all the weeds everywhere. It's actually annoying. And I'm assuming they spread and can cause damage to the farm. <gasps> yeah, there's there's weeds in our in our farm. Oh my gosh. Weeds are a menace. Get out of here. I don't know how long it'll take for the characters to start like liking us, you know? I just I don't know. Unfortunately I kinda have to do this. Do I have uh I don't have any more fencing. Well, I do, like, in the house, so I guess that works. I... There we go. Okay, I may as well just take this down. It's all broken anyways. It's not... It actually doesn't seem to be using up my, my stamina. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> so I was actually a little bit worried about that. <laughs> so peaceful. So we're on Wednesday. Is it someone's birthday? I... No, Prudence's birthday is on the 5th. I don't obviously know what they like, but... Uh, they're a mouse. <laughs> so... Maybe cheese is... <laughs> is that, uh... Is that bad to stereotype like that? I always... <laughs> what are my quests right now? Donate 10 specimens for Adeline's research. I don't know what specimens are. Where... Is that, like... Just... 10 of anything? Hmm. I may as well start doing some of my missions. I still need to get the white fish. Oh, my lights just flickered. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Spooky. Rowan wants lumber. That's an easy one to do right now. I'm gonna get him some lumber. I feel like that's attainable for me. Everything else seems a little more, <laughs> a little more work. I could go and check out the mines, especially because it's raining. Okay, I have 17 wood. Perfect. So now we can go and find Rowan. Rowan, where are you? Rowan, Rowan, Rowan. Rowan? Rowan? Rowan. Rowan's over there. Perfect. He's even nice and close. Weed? <sighs> Let's go. Rowan! <gasps> Mushrooms! Perfect! Yeah, I, at least I can forge a bunch of stuff and put it in... It would be nice to see, like, what else I can all cook. Oh, a lot of people are here. How often... With how often Poppy stops by, it almost feels like we have three children. I have a few things for sale that can help spruce up your place. Rowan is selling nice furniture as well. Our shop catalog is in the front table there. Hey, Rowan! You gathered all the logs already? Thanks! Here, let me give you this coop, coop blueprint. Place it anywhere on your farmland, then gather the required material. A coop can be used to keep and raise small critters. Have you seen the bluggies in the forest around my house? Cute, right? Once you build a coop, try taming a wild bluggy. I hear they love root vegetables. Perfect. I kind of seen that from the tutorial. Coop foundations. Perfect. Oh, mushroom. I want to obviously make sure I get all of the stuff. I want to figure out like the specimen thing. Are you the one that likes me? Yeah, I think you are. Why are you scared? Come back. The critter loves you. I can't send you to the farm. Waste of my <laughs> waste of my stuff. <laughs> oh. Well, I want to build this coop. Oh. I can just put you down somewhere? Very nice. Okay. <gasps> no! It was an accident. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was like, it was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to. My accident sharp enough. I can do the oak tree. But I can't do the other one. Logs. I will put it like... I could put it around here. Right in here is kind of cute, because we'll, we'll need to fence it in. Actually, this little corner is cute, too. Mm, I want to see, like, what's my whole farm all about? The marsh is over here, and then we could catch some fish. Like, the farm isn't huge. It'd be kind of cool if uh, there was customizable layouts, kind of like in Stardew, 
how you can choose like the farm layout at the beginning. I don't know, maybe that would be like just a bit too confusing or difficult because of the because of like, you know, it's ties to the other parts of the village, but it could be a fun little addition for sure. I'm excited to see what other critters we could be too, because I'm not sure like if my progress is going to completely save when uh, when the full game releases. All right, it's three o'clock. We're not doing too bad on time here. I'm just getting very anxious though about wanting to keep everyone alive. <laughs> it's going to be so, I don't know, it's so sad if anyone dies. It might happen though. Prepare yourselves. This game could turn very tragic. I want to clear a little more. think yeah we'll definitely put it here that'll be super adorbs i just need to get rid of you and then we can put it here mm, i need a few more i actually am very close to making it and then we'll go and put our little bluggy up in here i probably need some fencing hey so i should probably actually get oh i have lots of logs so i actually think oh <laughs> I think we're actually pretty okay. Okay, there and there. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, critter door. Hmm, nice. We need to need to clear this a little bit more so that our bluggies can have some space. This tree is not breakable. We'll just clear this a bit more. We're still doing decent on time. With the night time, we can go to that bar and kind of chat with a bunch of people there, too. I think that's going to be like... Oh! Oh, no! Ooh, I messed up. I could eat... I could eat this, I guess. I may as well. I... <laughs> I feel weird eating, but like... Oh, I thought I accidentally just ate my second one. I feel weird eating. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but I know it's like, I need to do it, too. But I just want to, like, do it... Save it for the villagers, you know? <laughs> this game is um, Stardew Valley, but with stress. <laughs> you know, at least in, in Stardew, you don't have like the impending doom of people's lives in your hand. Well, maybe the Ju Juminos, but Junimos? Junimos. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> Juminos didn't die if Joja Cola took over. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, what other stuff can we do? Grilled vegetables. Grilled fish. Salads. Simple dish. I want to try... Oh, right. I can't do that. I... Uh, I accidentally broke that. Like, I wonder... Is it better to... Like, I don't... Oh, how do I make money in this game? Mm, I actually don't know. Let's just make a few of them. We'll do that. It should be probably good. We can go put those in there. We can throw our grilled fish in there too. Because we need six days worth of food. How long do you take to dry out? Oh, okay. So you'll probably be done tomorrow then. Oh yeah, I wanted to get my my fences. I think I need to make a little bit more though still. I should have some fences actually in here. Yeah, I do. I just don't have... Oh, I have jerky. I'm going to go throw that jerky in the in the cellar. Because I don't want to actually use it myself. We'll make a couple more of those. I figure I can probably just use like the natural, the natural uh, groove of the of the farm, and I'm just gonna like maybe do this, three, four, and then do this. There. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Do you think they need to like... Oh, they need to eat though, don't they? <sighs> I think they do. I could... I do have money. So I can always buy food. Right? I want the bluggy. If the bluggy dies, I'm gonna cry. Bluggy. Yes. 
You need to feed your critters every day. Add kibble or hay to the feeding through the barn. How do I get that though? Delete hay grass out growing outside instead of food in the feeding, if available. Oh. You can call your critters. How do I get hay grass? And then I can, they can die of old age and they'll run away if they're neglected for too long. I need a butcher's block. <laughs> That's very sad. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Adeline, what are you doing here? Oh. Um, I need, I need hay. Who sells hay? Not you guys. I don't know where to get hay from. Hmm. Do you think I can get it just from the general store? Possibly. Okay, let's let's go. They might be closing soon. That's what I'm nervous about. And I need to be able to feed my bluggies. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't feed them tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, could be really bad. <laughs> I hope you're open. Oh, good. Okay. Hey. I will purchase a bit of you. And then I, I guess I, okay, there, I'll do that. I don't know how to sell stuff. Oh, we should put some food in, in here as well, since we're over here. Oh, I only have two, two energy left. I suppose then we may as well, I'm going to put the jerky in here. And then I'll put the grilled fish, the roots. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't actually as much as I thought. I wonder why those have little spoons on them. What does that mean? Is it stuff that I can give to the one person? I think possibly. It would be nice. I don't have enough energy to water those, so I could do that tomorrow. I might have to. Was this a uh, something? Raspberry bush. Oh, you're not producing anything though. That's good to know. We can oh, we could do some foraging for a little bit down here in the marsh. There was uh, there was definitely stuff in the marsh. I also will have my fish ready in a few, in like a day anyways. So we'll be able to get that soon here. But it's just more the herbivore stuff that I'm actually kind of worried about now. These big fish are, definitely aren't interested at all in my fishing rod. <laughs> a cattail ready in three days. I don't see anything actually to harv or to not harvest, but my brother Kai raised me. He puts lots of pressure on himself. I wish he would see that I can take care of myself now. Where is your brother? I want to chat with him. He's just gone. It's so quiet. <laughs> actually making me anxious. <laughs> I feel like something's just going to jump out at me. Hello. I visit my, oh, your sister's Adeline, every morning for tea to spend time with her. It must be lonely in that manner all by herself. I see. You should have some stuff, hey? What is that? I don't know. I don't want to break it, though. It's probably just something that, okay. Well, I'll be able to, like, forage a bunch of raspberries in a couple of days here, I imagine. So that'll be good. That'll be good for the herbivores. <laughs> I'm just getting nervous. Yeah, I think we may as well call it a night tonight. I want to go check on my bluggy and then and then we'll go to bed. I feel like the bluggy's probably in bed, hey? Oh, there you are. Hello. Aw, you trying to escape? Calling critters outside. Get inside. There you go. We'll close you for now. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> Is this done? No, not yet. Everything was water. Oh, wait, everything was watered. Doesn't that mean I can just plant this all willy-nilly without... Okay, I'm going to waste one of my... Well, not waste, but I am going to use one of my... Oh, but it's not watered. I can water it, though. All right, there. That was my last remaining. <laughs> my last remaining. Oh, gosh. Okay, then it should be good now. Scary noises. Let's go to sleep. I don't want to pass out on the floor. What would you like to do? We'll sleep. Oh, four days left. Zero days of spoiled food. 100% villagers spread. 
spread fed oh my god <laughs> an important village meeting will be held this morning in front of the mayor's residence percy Ooh. oh finn no you're dudley <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Finn's back! No, I missed not looking at you. Morning. Mayor Theo is holding a town meeting. He wants everyone to attend, so I came to get you. Well, let's go. You wouldn't want to miss it. <laughs> Important message, hey? Is Finn back? It's very ominous and sad sounding. Ooh! There's like a plum in that tree or something. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming. Now, are we safe? I'm worried. Yes, we... Have you heard back from Finn yet? No. What are we going to do? Something bad is happening out there. Everyone, calm down. Let me talk. So much anxiousness. I Honestly, living back in, like, the olden days without, like, any technology or anything must have been absolutely terrifying. Like, no wonder they thought witches and stuff were out to get them. Everything just seems so scary and unknown. <laughs> yes, we are safe. No, Finn has not come back yet. But Percy and I have been talking, and we come up to the, some ideas on how to prepare for the worst. As a start, we talked to Yenny yesterday about using her land to produce food and keep the root cellar stocked with food. We also spoke with Hazel and Rose. They come up with ideas on how we can better prepare. be prepared. Please hear them out. Oh gosh, yeah, what are you guys going to do? Thank you, Mayor Theo. One thing you should know is that even with two herbalists, it takes a lot- Oh yeah, you guys are the herbalists. It takes a lot of time to gather supplies and prepare medicine. Oh, do I have to gather supplies for you guys? Hazel and I have come up with two ideas to help us save time gathering medicinal ingredients. We're asking for the village's help. <laughs> so my help. No one else is going to contribute. Um, we're asking for the village's help as we will not be able to build these projects on our own. My idea is to build a herb garden. It will help provide us with steady supply of herbs. And my idea is to build a mushroom hut. It's a riskier project as neither of us are knowledgeable about mushrooms. But it will allow us to produce edible mushrooms as well as discover new medicinal treatments. Thank you, Hazel and Rose. Since we need everyone in the village to help with these projects, we'll vote on which one we should be built. Oh no. If you support Hazel ideas, then stand to the left. If you support Rose, then stand to the right. Oh my gosh. The herb garden or the mushroom hut? Oh no. The herb garden's good for... I don't know. <laughs> like, we can find mushrooms now. I haven't found any herbs yet. But maybe that's a different... That could be like an autumn thing. <sighs> Hazel's herb garden or Rose's mushroom hut, hey? <laughs> it's riskier. But it can provide food. But I can also get food. Whereas the herbs, I think, are just for medicine. Which could be important if anyone gets, like, I don't know if people can get sick, but I feel like I can get food. So maybe I'll do the herb garden. Oh, geez. And we're the tiebreaker, aren't we? Yeah. I feel like we're the tiebreaker. His project with the most boat is Hazel's garden. Hazel's herb garden. Thank you, everyone. We'll set up a donation box by Hazel's house. Please contribute what you can. This, I'll help with the digging. <laughs> I want to help out with the plants or mushrooms. It's the plants, lady. <laughs> Someone wasn't paying attention. Oh, I thought that was me. I was like, why am I jumping? I'll start cutting down some trees for lumber. I have a bunch of old stones that can be used as building materials. Thank you, everyone. Uh, why couldn't we build both? <laughs> Remember to place donations in the box by Hazel's house. Once all the materials have been gathered, we'll start building. Oh, the herb garden. I don't know why. I feel like I should have done the mushroom one now, but, now, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure at all. Mm. All right, well... That has been Grimshire. This game is going to be very intense, I can tell already. I There's like tons of different mechanics on the go here. So I'm very anxious though. I don't want anyone to die. Oh, we got, we got a, <laughs> a romance thing happening for... Oh no, you're not romanceable! <laughs> no one else likes me, hey? Percy, she's so small. <laughs> 
you so so short compared to the other ones all right anyways that was Grimshire. this game is going to be very cute and fun i think i'm not sure how long this demo is but i'm sure we'll be able to at least probably get one more episode out of this anyways thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying so far definitely feel free to leave a like subscribe to become a little legend today and i will see you in another video all right peace Thank you.